Dr. Julie Schell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to give subcutaneous fluids to a feline, to a cat. This here is Shaka, and he has chronic renal failure. His kidneys aren't working very well. He's also a bit dehydrated and constipated, so we're going to be giving him fluids. I often will send fluids home with my clients to give to their cats under the skin. So it's important to first get the kitty cat comfortable, and I've put on some essential oils to calm him down. I've also given Shaka some really tasty treats and some KD cat food. That's what he really enjoys eating. It's a good quality food for cats with kidney failure. And then what I do is get my syringe ready. And also I will be sending you home with some needles, 18 gauge needles. And I also have the IV fluids. I've chosen some sodium chloride, which is a really good fluid for him. And it's nice and balanced for his body's needs. I have it in a a little bowl of warm water so that helps make it room temperature and it goes in easier. We never want to make the cat feel cold. Often these kidney cats or any cat that needs fluids is a little bit deficient. So we open up the syringe. We try to do this as, as sterile as possible and we put the needle on right like this. So you take it out of the syringe, and, uh, syringe case and put the needle right on. And then what I do is I undo the um, cap that the needle is has to protect it like that. A really hard pull will disengage it, but will keep that needle on. And then you take your bag of IV fluids and go right into the needle port, which is this rubber port that has a bullseye center, I call it. It's like a nice little round center. So you stick it in there. And if you're right-handed, you can hold the syringe with your right hand and then the bag with your left hand. And you just draw up. Usually I will dispense a, a program for about 60 milliliters twice a day under the cat's skin for most cats and then once they are more hydrated then they go down to maybe 60 milliliters a day and then we can even go downwards from there. Sometimes some patients are on it only once a week. We also for him use a vitamin B injection so we'll show you how to give a vitamin B injection as well. Okay so then I like to put the cap back on like so and then I grab my subcutaneous fluid administrator. It's this butterfly catheter and it helps do that. Uh, it helps uh, administer the fluid a lot better. And so I take the butterfly catheter out of its package and undo the top. And then I basically insert uh, the butterfly catheter onto the needle, onto the syringe where we're giving fluid. So you take off that needle and put on the butterfly catheter needle um, hub. It's like the hub that goes on the syringe. And then I like to release the air bubbles. So I just kind of um, depress the syringe a little bit so that all of the air in the line is gone and that I have 100% fluid in my line. Now if we're giving a vitamin B injection, I'll often just undo the um, needle, the 18 gauge needle, and push the vitamin B. Usually it's about a 0.1 mil vitamin B, and that's something that we like to give um, under the skin as well. And that helps uh, restore their appetite and vitamin B levels is like, vitamin B is like a happy vitamin, it makes the cats feel a lot better. And then I gently touch the cat in areas that he enjoys. Uh, with Shaka he really likes his head being touched. I take the cap of that needle off of the butterfly needle, butterfly syringe, and then I basically um, find a nice little skin tent near his shoulders. I usually go left shoulder, right shoulder, sometimes in the middle. You can also go in the left hip, right hip, and along the sides of the cat as well. But the most easiest is just around the shoulder and the neck. So I just kind of make a skin tent with one hand, usually my non-dominant hand, my left hand, and then I put the needle right in under the skin. And you know what's in there when you push the syringe a little bit and no liquid comes out. So right now, I'm depressing the syringe nice and slow, but at a comfortable pace for the cat so that he doesn't feel like he's here for three or four hours. We want to do this as efficiently as possible since it has to be done about two or three times a day sometimes, or sometimes once a day. And so the first injection is, is um, going really well with him. He's such a good cat. And for the second injection, that's when I like to give the vitamin B. And so we'll show you how to draw that up. So he was very good. So he already had a 60 cc uh, dose. And then what I do is um, just put the needle back on there. And you can basically, for when I'm giving 120 milliliters a day, I do use this butterfly catheter twice as long as it's kept sterile, but I usually throw it out afterwards. I don't like to reuse it more than 
once and that's about it. And if the cats are um, really moving and, and I'm worried about um, sterility, I will only use it once and then we will discard it. And then I basically put on a new, a fresh 18 gauge um, needle and suck it up. Oh, great. And Tracy brought over the vitamin B injection, so we're going to use that. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah. Um, go like that. Good. And so we basically draw up another 60 cc's. For him, he's, his dose today, we're going to give him up to about uh, 280 to 300 cc's throughout the day, just because he's pretty dehydrated. But usually we don't have to give that much. So we're going to drop another dose like that. Good baby. And then I put a syringe case back on. And then in this particular situation, Tracy has drawn up his dose, which is 0.25 mil, and this is basically what the vitamin B looks like. I will probably dispense a whole bottle to my clients, and then it's the same thing. You just stick the needle in there, and you draw up to the 0.25 mil usually, but definitely I'll let you know the correct dose when I, when I dispense it. And so what I do is I suck up a little bit of air in there, take the needle off, or take this needle cap off, and then stick the needle right in the bullseye. And then you'll see that it turns a nice reddish pink color. And then again, I like to remove the air bubbles. And that's great. And then I get my same butterfly catheter as long as it's been kept sterile. And I just push out any sort of remaining air bubbles that's there, which really there's not many. And this time I'm going to go on his opposite side. Because Shaka is so dehydrated, the fluids go in very quick and very easy. And he's absorbed them quite nicely already. So now I just do the other side. I make a skin tent, pet him nicely, and he's doing so well. He's such a good cat. A lot of times I'll um, have clients put their cat in a laundry basket, and you can work with them that way. Or their cat carrier, you can take the lid of the cat carrier off, and you can easily keep them secure in there. They feel comfortable in there. I think cats feel good when they are receiving the fluid. Like It's kind of like when we're dehydrated and have heat stroke, we feel really uncomfortable. And once we get a good glass of water and absorb it nicely, we feel so much better. So Shaq is really enjoying eating his treats as well as getting some petting um, at the same time that he's getting his fluids as well as right now his vitamin B injection. And like I say, the vitamin B usually is a once a week injection, so you don't have to do that every day. So he's really good. He was such a good boy, and you always want to reward them and make it a nice, calm, and pleasant experience. We've also used um, uh, essential oil diffuser in the room, so he smells all of the lavender and the orange and the patchouli and the nice, calming aromas. What I do now is it's important to make sure you dispose of the needles correctly without getting injured. So I basically get a biohazards waste container and put them all in there. All of the sharps, I put them in this container, and we basically can incinerate them all. Uh, same thing with this, I don't like using this more than two times and then you can bring this whole container to us and we can dispose of it, we incinerate them all. Things like this, these can be reused, like some people have multiple purposes, we use them every now and then to protect tails and um, other items, but otherwise they can be recycled because there's a recycling symbol on there, so these you can throw in the recycling bin, the Calgary recycle bin. Um, little things like this can also be recycled, it's just plastic. And um, otherwise, yeah, bring us the sharps and the syringes and we will dispose of them. So he's a very, very good boy and he did very well. And if you have any questions, definitely give us a call at 403-278-1984 or check us out online and there's more information there at www.bowbottomvet.com. Thank you very much. Good boy, Shaka. Good boy.